Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the most exciting video that I upload on my channel, at least for me, and I believe it's the most exciting for you as well. I have a huge, and I mean huge, very extremely massive makeup haul for you. You're not ready. Let me tell you, every time that I am in a beauty store, most of this stuff from Sephora, like these bags are packed full, but any time that I'm in a beauty store, I just justify buying makeup. Just throw it in the cart, throw it in the basket. I just say, it's for the channel. One day it'll be a write-off, right? Hopefully speaking it into existence. Also, I'm missing two nails. We don't care. It's not an issue. One I lost at Adventure Island and the other I lost because of Colin. So, thank you. Also, I know the lighting is extremely weird. We're going to ignore that like we always do. I'm still messing with this camera. It's still new to me. I'm using my softbox lights right now because it's extremely gloomy in Florida right now. It's literally gray outside and I'm chasing the sun. So I'm like trying to move really fast, but I just popped in a new SD card. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we will start with Morphe because I have the least amount of stuff from Morphe. So starting off, I bought two of the Morphe blush balms. These are the soft focus cream blushes. So this is the collab with Meredith on TikTok. If you know her, she always does a thing where she scrunches her nose. I saw her use them and I was like, I need to have those. I got two shades. I got Provocative Petal and Audacious Apricot. So they just look like this. They're so adorable. They have an M on them, obviously for Morphe, but it could also be for Meredith. I thought that was so cute. So like I said, I have Provocative Petal and Audacious Apricot. They are so pretty. They're so pretty. They're going to be so pretty on the cheeks. And these are my kinds of colors. You guys know I am an absolute blush whore. And I love blush. And I love cream products. So this is perfect. I got the Jaclyn X Robin Powder Move Loose Setting Powder. Oh, I think that's cute. Like powder move, like power move. I think, I think that's what she's going for. And this is in the shade Sheer Fair. So Michaela on TikTok, you guys know I am easily influenced by her. I'm easily influenced by anybody. She talks about this all the time. And it looks so pretty. And I struggle with having like very crepey, cakey under eyes. So I really want to get rid of that. It's getting really dark. Very dark outside. So this is just going to be a dark video. So I really hope that Jacqueline can help me out a little bit with that. Now moving on to the Ulta bag, we will go through Sephora at the end because that's the most exciting. So I first got two pairs of lashes, the ones I'm wearing right now, and then these ones which I love, they're the Kiss My Lash But Better um, No Filters eyelash. I love these, they're so pretty for a natural eye look. I also got the NYX Bear With Me Setting Spray. I used to love this stuff and I want to try it out again because it used to make me look so like glowy and just so pretty. So I wanted to try it again. The next two things I got are the Fakai Brilliant Gloss Shampoo and Conditioner. So Taylor on TikTok, oh my god, I'm influenced by everybody like I said. She talked about these and her hair looked so pretty. My eyelashes lifting. Her hair looked so, so pretty when she used these, and they are just 8.5 fluid ounce bottles, and they're pretty expensive. It was like $24 for each bottle, but I do only wash my hair once a week, so, you know, it could still work. I don't think I'm going to go through it that fast, so, yeah, I got that Monday shampoo. Um, I think I shared it in my last haul, and I don't know. It doesn't really suds. I have to wash my hair twice, which, I mean... You're supposed to anyway you're supposed to double cleanse your hair as well like you double cleanse your face but it's a lot of work i just hope this one suds up a lot more because like i said i wash my hair once a week so it's very dirty with like dry shampoo so it's really hard to like get it up out of there if that makes sense the next two things i got were from essence so this is just a restock this is the essence extreme lasting eye pencil in the shade black love so i absolutely love these pencils but i lost my black one in i have the cream one as well but i lost my black one in new york so i had to get a new one and it's like two bucks but they were also doing a buy one get one 50 off or free or something like that so i got the essence pure nude highlighter i've heard good things about this that it's just kind of like a glow from within so you know i want that on my natural days so i figured i'd try it out so it doesn't look like much actually it looks pretty glowy but you do that and then i Put it here last time and do you just see the glow that it gives it almost seems like a powder version of like the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter yeah it's really glowy and pretty i think i'm definitely excited to try that the next two things i got are pretty random these are the milani baked powder blushes in luminoso and barry amore so ever since i fell in love with youtube everybody was always talking about these and how amazing they are i've heard that baked products are better for texture so I've never had them and so I really wanted them and they're just like bringing me back to old YouTube days. This is Luminoso. 
and this is Barium Moor. So Luminoso is here on the right and Barium Moor is right here. They're both really, really pretty. I'm excited to use them. So I have Luminoso right here and Barium Moor right here. I think they'll be so gorgeous. Again, right up my alley. I do like to set my cream products with a powder product. So I know some people don't, but I do because I feel like my makeup transfers without setting them. The next thing I got is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I got mine in the shade Seashell, and I've seen, oh, how many times am I going to say I've seen this person on TikTok? I've seen Bryn, Bryn Marie use this on TikTok, and it really brightens her eyes. So I am anemic, so I have really, really dark rings around my eyes. Like, it literally looks like I have brown eyeshadow on sometimes all around my eye. I always say that raccoons are my long-lost family. But anyway, sometimes it doesn't even matter how much water I drink anything like that my eyes are so dark and sometimes my concealer can't even cover it and I also get like crepey eyes like I was saying before so I really need to get some new products for my under eyes so this seems very promising I have high hopes for it I love Fenty I love all of her products so far and so I think this will be good I also got the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Eyeliner. I've seen this in action and it looks really nice and extra black and I even put it on my hand the other day I don't really want to do it right now because it stained my hand and I love red packaging. It stained my hand so bad but it was so black and it did not move. It did not leave and I think it is a brush tip and I like pens like this. Sometimes I don't like the ones that unscrew because I feel like I'm so far away if that makes sense whereas this I can hold like really up close and personal. So the next thing I got is from Keys Soul Care which is Alicia Keys brand and this whole time I did not know it was Alicia Keys brand until as until recently when I looked up the brand. I don't know why I'm so stupid and why I'm so behind, but last on my last haul, I asked for some recommendations for like skincare and stuff, and my old friend Tori, she recommended this, or she recommended her products. I don't think she, she might have recommended this product, but this is the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, and I've also seen Michaela use this on TikTok. So this looks so nice. I've seen it on people's skin, and the packaging is like luxe. It is heavy, it is glass, it is so pretty. So it comes with a pump, which is really nice. We're gonna pretend like I didn't just think it was a spatula because I unscrewed it. I'm a mess, but I'm excited to try this. I really wanna try this in my next full face of first impressions, but I have so many primers to try. We'll see which one I try. I also got some lip products from Ulta. I got the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. So these went viral on TikTok, and this is in the shade White Peach, which also Meredith uses, and it looks so freaking pretty. Guys, I think I have a defective one. I'm not even kidding. No! I'm trying. I think I got a defective one. That's so sad. I have to go back and return it. I will try to swatch. You know what? I'm actually not going to swatch it because I have to return it. But I'm so sad. I really wanted to use this really soon. But I will probably go tomorrow morning and exchange it. So I also got the Rem Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Roller Skates. I was going to get two. I was going to get Bubbly as well. And now there's part of me wishing I did. And look how this is like wrapped. Because I see Bubbly everywhere. And it looks so pretty. But this one's a bit more peachy. Bubbly's a bit more pink. But I think this packaging is so cool. It literally looks like an astronaut, which I think is the point. But this shade is so pretty, and they're so pigmented. You guys know magnetic packaging is just the way to go. So that was it for Ulta. So now it is time for Sephora, which is so exciting. So starting off strong, I actually didn't get this from Sephora. I ordered it from Charlotte Tilbury's website as soon as it came in stock. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand, and it is in the shade Fair Medium. I'm sure if you're a makeup lover, you know how hard these are to get. So when I got my hands on it, I was so excited. If you guys remember the highlight from my last video, you guys know I said something about how me and Alexa had a pact to get each other one if we found it, and I bought us both one as soon as I woke up one morning. So yeah, I am beyond excited to try this. Let's talk about some application products. So the first thing I got for my under eye, because like I said, I'm trying to fix whatever's going on with my under eye, is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brush for concealer. So... I thought maybe I need to switch over to a brush instead of a sponge for underneath my eyes. And I feel like this would be really good for getting like right in there. Yeah, it would definitely fit. It's super soft. Here's what the brush looks like. 
I just wanted to try a brush for my under eyes. I've seen people use this and it looks pretty good. So definitely excited for that. I then just got some stuff from Beauty Blender. So I got the original Beauty Blender because there was a sale going on that if you bought a foundation, then you got the Beauty Blender for 50% off, which makes it $10. So I was like, this is how beaten up my previous sponge is. This is from the Morphe and Ariel collection and it used to be teal. It's no longer teal. So I did get this. This I'm extremely excited for. So this is the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. So people use this for powder and like I said a million times, I'm struggling with my under eyes. So I was like, hmm, maybe this will help to put powder under my eyes. So you just like put it in between your fingers and then you just kind of pat your powder in. It has two sides, so it has this soft, like, hairy side and then the velvety side. And I also like it because when I do people's makeup, I need to have something, like, on my pinky because my hand will literally touch your face and wipe off their makeup. And I hate doing that. So this really is going to help me with a ton of things. I now just want to talk about some hair products. So I, of course, use dry shampoo. I know I said that previously. And I have been using the IGK, which I feel makes my hair very, like... It sticks to my head and I don't know I'm just trying to find that perfect dry shampoo so the same person who recommended the Fakai um, shampoo talks about this all the time and this is the Amika perk up dry shampoo so I've heard amazing things not just from her from a lot of people and I really hope that it's good for my hair I'm super excited to try it some people don't like to buy like pricier dry shampoos but I do think that sometimes with certain products the more you spend the better the product I'm honestly not that much of a fan of the Batiste so I do want to try this and I will let you know my thoughts now this is the Briogeo scalp revival the charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo so with all of that buildup, beings, I wash my hair once a week. I need something that's really going to get in there and like get all of that gunk out of my hair because I am sure I have a ton of buildup of dry shampoo in my hair. So I really want to use this maybe like every other week, every other time I wash my hair. So we'll see. That's again going to make these Fakai shampoos last even longer. But I will also let you know how I feel about this. Exfoliating shampoos kind of like freak me out because I feel like I'm going to have like grittiness in my hair for a long time after and I don't want that so we'll see if this does that or if it just rinses out easily so this product I am extremely excited about so as I don't know if you guys know actually my favorite tv show is Bridgerton like I love it and season two oh my god I read the books as well and whoo the series is just amazing. So Pat McGrath, this is also my first Pat McGrath item. This is the Pat McGrath Blushing Delights Blush and Highlighter Palette. So it's Bridgerton themed. Look at this. Look at this packaging. It is stunning. So it's so cute. It just has three baked blushes and then a baked highlighter and they are all so gorgeous. So these are the shades. It is so pretty. I will swatch them here. So you can kind of see them here. It is so gorgeous. I am beyond excited for this and I know like sometimes I don't like clunky packaging but this is worth it because come on the packaging may feel a bit cheap but like it's so cute I'm never getting rid of this so I did get a couple products from one size I've never tried anything from the brand so the first thing I got is his new made for shade bronze and sculpt trio I got mine in the shade light and let me tell you something when I was looking online the powders themselves look so light even in person also this packaging is some of my favorite makeup packaging I think I've ever seen because I love chrome and I love red so this is beautiful but like I was saying they seem very light but they're not and also this mirror is a sizable mirror I am very excited to try this I have been looking for like a new powder bronzer but sometimes I just have a hard time spending a lot of money on bronzer because I think the physician's formula one is really nice but you know this might make me look airbrushed and beautiful so we're definitely gonna try this in an upcoming full face of first impressions also from him I got the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer now I have been looking for a good pore diffusing primer but I don't like things that feel extremely silicone -y. I honestly don't know what this one feels like but we're gonna find out I have all of my primers I kind of realized were all very hydrating and dewy and glowy and I was like I don't have anything in my collection that's pore diffusing and so I definitely have some pores on my nose and on my cheeks that I really want to hide and I think this will be a good one I heard good things about it and I'm definitely excited to try it so this next item I am also extremely excited about because I've never bought anything like this so this is the Dior forever skin glow I have never I don't think have I 
I don't think I've ever bought an item from a luxury like designer brand when it comes to makeup. I don't believe so. I could be wrong, but this looks beautiful. I think it'll match. I hope it's good. I got mine in the shade 1.5 neutral. This is what, okay, so here's my logic. Here's what happened. I saw that sale for the beauty blender. So logically I had to get like one of the most expensive foundations at Sephora, right? Justified it. Anyway, I am beyond excited to try this. It is a glass bottle. It looks beautiful on everyone who's tried it. I just hope it looks beautiful on me. So I also got the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So as you can see, there's like oil up here, which concerns me a bit, but then you just shake it and I love that it's blue. It's so pretty. I don't know, it just seems nice. So we can check the spritzer. That's a really nice spritzer. I'm not gonna waste any more, but oh my. The only thing is settles again very fast. Like you have to give it a good shake spray and be done with it. I am also extremely excited for this. I'm excited for everything, so if I say that a lot, I'm so sorry. The next thing I got is the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. So Babs Beauty here on YouTube uses this and she loves it, and so I think I might love it. I got mine in the shade LN3. I love that it's like triangle and that it's rose gold chrome, but it looks really nice. I like the doe foot. I think it's nice. I'm super excited to try this. I have like a whole new under eye routine, so it better be good and my issues better stop with my under eye. So the next few things I got from Sephora are some lippies. So I feel like I got a lot of lip products. So the first thing I got was the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat in the shade Lemon Lava. This looks stunning stunning on people oh my god and i love this formula and i love my gloss bomb heat and hot cherry anybody who's ever had a gym dad all their life tell me that i'm wrong when i say these smell like pre-workout why do they smell like pre-workout rihanna what are you doing to my lips all i know is they're on fire when i put this on but i love the sensation i love it so the next thing i got and let me tell you I never really was thinking about buying anything from Item Beauty. I don't know why, it just didn't spark my interest until I saw Addison Rae put this on. So this is the Item Beauty Lip Quip Lip Oil in the shade In A Jam. This was the last one at my Sephora. I've been waiting to do this all day. That is so satisfying. I know it looks crazy and it looks purple, but she, you know what? I'm gonna put some on right now. She put it on and it looked beautiful. Holy gloss. Okay, Addison, what have you done here? Because this feels amazing and looks amazing. Oh my God, I love this. I'm gonna get every other shade now. It is so comfortable. It's not sticky, nothing. Addison, you killed that. That is going right in my purse. I then got, this is kind of sad, I got three of the Bite Beauty, let's see, the Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons three of them. Here's the thing, I'm probably not gonna use these a lot on my channel because I know they're going out of business and I don't like to use things that are discontinued or not available anymore. But I got them because the little girl inside of me was telling me to because when I was little I always wanted these because it's what everybody was using on YouTube. And so I needed them and so I got the shades Lychee, Titan, no, Tatine, Tatin, and Stinger. I just needed them like to have in my collection to be able to say I had something from Bite Beauty because when I was little I always wanted these lip crayons. Always wanted them. I got some really pretty shades for summer. So this is Lychee. So pretty. This is Tatin Tatine, the pinky one. And then Stinger is this beautiful coral red. I think that'll be so pretty. Not coral red, it's more of like a coral, orangey, pinky kind of thing. I think it'd be so pretty in the summer. But yeah, I just really wanted to have these in my collection before they were gone for good. I might go back and get some of the lipsticks. But yeah, I'm very excited to have these. I got two more things from Item Beauty and let's unwrap this. So this is the Blush and Like Cream Blush. And this is beautiful but what i don't understand about it is it looks like a powder but it's actually a cream it's in the shade oopsies and it feels like a powder almost there it is there i just swatched it right here that's such a pretty pink 
I love that. I am definitely going to be using that all summer long. The last thing I got from Item Beauty was the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. So this one's going to be the most satisfying. I love that. So I don't want to open it, but the wand on this is super, super short, which is going to be really easy to get into those lashes and on the bottom lash line as well. You know what? I'm just going to open it. Do you see how tiny that is? It's teeny tiny. I think this is going to be really good. I'm excited to use it. You guys will see it in an upcoming video because it's the only mascara I have to try. So as you guys know from my last haul, I got the Sol de Janeiro Bea Flor Elastacream. Not trying to say it like last time. I love this scent. This is my favorite set from Sol de Janeiro. So I had to get the giant spray. The only logical thing to do. I don't even know how to explain this. It literally smells like flowers, but cotton candy, but peach, but I don't know what else. It just smells like, if you could think of what the color pink would smell like, that's what it smells like. Like, it smells so good. Mm, my god, it is the perfect summer scent. You need this. Need it. Why can't I get it back on? Get your hands on this. Last but not least, I got the Fenty Beauty Balm Posse Mega Mix and Match eyeshadow palette. So this looked super pretty in store and I saw it on somebody's video and it was on sale. So I was like, mm, might as well. But I thought it would be such a perfect summery palette and even like a bridal palette. Look at those colors. I think that is so pretty. It's a beautiful color story, just super neutral. It's not like I don't have anything like this in my collection, but apparently I needed another. So yeah. I am very excited to use this. I can also use this in an upcoming video. But other than that, guys, that is it. That is all I bought. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the next full face of first impressions, and I will definitely use that. But other than that, if you liked the video today, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. I know it's been a weird filming today, but whatever. We don't care, right? But I still always have a blast filming it. But that is all that I have for you guys today. So if you liked it, make sure you leave a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for future videos and hit the bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.